person who's looking at the guidance for what he's been with the laws, the sick, all those who dealt with loss of loved ones, Lord, but all our first responders, responders to military and our families, Lord. Thank you most of all for my salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Rotating back and forth, they've each got three minutes to answer. 
Uh, if there's anything that comes up in that, the commission wants to ask any follow-up questions at the end, have time at the end uh, for that. Uh, and then during our August 9th meeting, we would, we would take a vote. But if it has any changes to that, that's fine. We, we've got to start somewhere. So I'm going to make the motion that we execute this process. Any changes need to come from that? I'll second. Anything needs to be added to that, Jeremy? I have a motion. Commissioner uh, Nixon and uh, second from Ms. Linda Nixon on that. Any discussion? All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's <coughs> it. Yeah, if you'll get me those questions and we'll just email them. Get email or drop them out on Stacey, to Stacey and me and we'll get, we'll get that from uh, <coughs> Number eight, the county mayor report. I'll keep it short and sweet tonight. Uh, I hate to do this, but I got to brag on you, Dean, because he allowed the inmates to come help me create the fair. So I think it's hard to make a brag on you, Dean. I'll share about thank you, but it's hard to keep it. I'll send you a bill later. I figured you would. I knew it would be free. And Johnny Lay and his crew from the highway department. Uh, Everybody that had a plan and getting that ready, it looks really good. Had a, a lot of people bragging on how good it looked. And, and that, John and the inmate crew, they painted up all the fences and tin boots. It really looks good. And that's a really good thing to show off our county. And if it looks good, then it, it just adds that much more to it. And I'm, I'm proud of it. I think that's, that's a good thing. And that the fair is a good thing. It, it's showcased our community, and I'm glad to have it. And another thing, you know, the Crump Parish Park, I, we've traveled the last couple of weeks with All-Stars, and our, our parks facilities is second to none. I mean, you travel with, with the state and go on these ballparks, and we're we are top-notch when it comes to that. You know, and that's, a, that's the two things that, that you see. That's kind of, I think it's been said, that's our front porch. I mean, it really does, and it shows the well for our community to see those things. So just want to brag on everybody that had a part in that and getting that done. All right, that's about all I got now, Ms. Daisy. Financial reports, you have those? Uh, yes, you have cash flows for this current fiscal year on pages 6 through 11 through May 31st. I will point out that the cash flows on pages 12 through 17, um, they could have been placed a little later in the uh, packet, but they reflect beginning July 1, 21 through the end of uh, the 22 budget year. So those reflect what is being proposed in the budget tonight. So those two are side by side, but one's reflecting now, one is reflecting what's proposed. Um, then you have summary financial statements on pages 18 through 29 for all funds um, through May 31st. Any questions? <coughs> If not, number nine is our community report. You have a copy of all the budget of the minutes from the uh, previous committee meetings on those. Most questions on those. We move on to uh, new business. Uh, under appointments, I have a letter where I reappointed Mr. David Haynes to the Middle Tennessee National Education to the district. No uh, action has been taken on that. Uh, number two is the 2021 redistricting committee. It is redistricting time. And, uh, to get that done, we've got to be done by <coughs> December, January, so it's going in. And, and with the census and the pandemic, that, that, that info has been held up. So it's, I think last I heard it was somewhere September before we have our data. So it's going to be a quick uh, quick process. What we've talked about doing is, uh, with the committee, is meeting probably in July and August. Trying to get, we've got some things that can kind of look at, start with, and then hopefully end of August, early September, we'll get the data, and then what I propose is maybe taking just a Saturday and knocking it out, trying to get it done as best we can and be done with it, and that way we're inside that timeline because we need to get it done and approved by November because we don't meet in December, and I don't, I don't have to call you in for a special call meeting in the holidays to get that done because it gets crazy that time of year. But that is, that is your slate for the uh, redistricting meeting. I will take a nomination to prove that. So moved. Second. Um, motion to Joey and second to Casey. 
of that committee. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed? No. All right. Number three is the Beer and Alcoholic Beverage State Law Study Committee. And I don't know if they've ever met. We've had a meeting with those guys since I've been here. But there is a, a, uh, something that wants, a person that wants to address them about some uh, boundary changes. So we've called them to meet. We're naming that committee and then we'll set a meeting for that person to uh, make their presentation that night. Uh, if not, I will. I'll take, a, I'll, not, I'll take a motion to approve that. Motion approved. Motion approved. That's yours. Thank you. Second, Ron Shoemaker. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <clears throat> okay. Number four is the beer board. We didn't need to set a new beer board. We do have an applicant that needs to come before them to get his process started. Let me tell you, finding a beer board is not an easy thing. So, but uh, we do have five people for your name before you. And I will take a uh, motion to approve. Motion for it. Motion for it. Second. 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 Steve Alcock. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All right. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Okay. All right. We move on to item B, which is the internet, is the approval. All right. So item number one. Number two, three, and four, the elected, or five, and before the elected officials were policy committee recommendations. Uh, we probably need to vote on those separately because they can carry both all kinds of different, uh, they don't really match up. So item number one is the internet use policy. It's on page 55 and 58. I will take a motion to approve that policy recommendation. I'll move. Race. Second. 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 Chris. I have a motion to amend it. Second. Chris Nixon. Any discussion? All right. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Uh -huh. All right. Item number two is the highway timesheet policy. It is also the transfer policy of the committee. It is on page 59. Any discussion? No. Any questions on that? If not, I'll take Most the motion to approve. Motion approved, Steve Babcock. Second. Second, Casey. <clears throat> All right. And motion a second. Any discussion? All, right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. All right. Item number three is this disposition of unclaimed bodies policy. That was brought, worked on with uh, Bass the Corner and Jeremy, and that was put for the policy committee as well. Any questions on that policy? If not, I'll take a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Motion to approve, Ms. Teresa. I'll second. Second, Ms. Linda. All right, I have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, Opposed? Item number four is the policy committee recommendation to allow elected officials to be to participate in the insurance. Program. Uh, that is a policy change. We, we believe that adds that back. I mean, it was discussed that used to, the late officials used to get insurance. So just going back to that policy. All right, any, uh, any discussion on that? All right, I take a motion to approve that policy. Motion to approve. Second. One read, second. Joey Nixon. All right, I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? <coughs> Questions? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay, and then your new item number five will be the Smith County Tennessee audit for the year ending, and that's just, you're having it. We don't have to take action on the back, we just, do we? Yes. <coughs> we all right, the Smith County Tennessee audit, year ending June 30, 2020. The report to number five, so I think we're going to start up. There's one approval that's on the You can yeah, two motions. One motion. All right, and then number five is the Smith County Audit Committee Report. We're laying that. You've got notes from that meeting. Did you combine those two? Yeah. All right. Yes. All right. I would take a motion to combine the audit report and the audit committee report. So moved. I right, have a motion to combine those two. 
Second. And approved. Motion to uh, combine and approve. Rick, Mr. Clinton. Yes, sir. Okay. And I have second. Here you go. Okay. Just want to make sure. All right. Motion to combine and, and approve those two. <coughs> Any other discussion? All right. All, since it does include money, we'll call it or can we donate? Just the reports. All right. Just reports. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion approved. All right, item number six is the statutory bond for Ms. Melinda Wood, who is serving as the Maryland Highway Official. <coughs> Need a motion to approve that bond? Motion to approve. Motion to approve. I'll second that. Second that, Ms. Nixon. I have a motion and a second to <coughs> approve that. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, I would see our presentations just for your, <clears throat> so you have them. They are internal control assessment and uh, three annual reports. And I know Mr. Burns is here for the cost of it, if you have any questions. And Ms. Brooks is here for, <coughs> if you have any questions on the drug board appropriation. I do not see Mr. Ray here for help. Okay. If you have any questions on those at this time, they are here. If not. <coughs> Appreciate the job they do and what they do for the <clears throat> All right, we'll move on to item D, the resolution. All right, items one through nine are regular budget amendments at the end of the year. This is moving money throughout the budgets to uh, <clears throat> to clean up the year-end amendments for those kind of things. Uh, we can vote on them separately or they can be voted on together. So I'll just whatever you got one to do. Motion to group them. Second. Second. Motion to group and approve? Yes. Okay. I have a motion to group and approve and a second. Let's see back up. All right. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion on these budget amendments? If not, we'll do a roll call, Stacey. Chris Nixon? Yes. Glenn Reese? Yes. Terry Gibbons? Yes. Billy Bax? Yes. Greta Kirby? Yes. Jason Stewart? Yes. Jimmy Winfrey? Yes. Stephanie Michaela? Yes. Shannon Michi? Yes. Erica Evil? Yes. Ron Schumann? Yes. Ron Cowan? Yes. Linda Nixon? Yes. Eddie Stout? Yes. Casey Elrod? Yes. Steve Babcock? Yes. Bill Reese? Yes. Tommy Bain? Yes. Joey Nixon? Yes. Tim Beller? Yes. Teresa Gross? Yes. Frank Woodard? Yes. All right, we move on to the ones we're all here for. Uh, this budget this year, and item number 10 is the tax levy for Smith County. And then 11 through, uh, 11 through 13 are all pertaining to this budget. We all, most of us here, were, had to do something two years ago that none of us ever dreamed we want, we'd have to do, or we did. And, and, for lack of a better term, it sucked. But we had to do what we had to do to fix the problem. We went to work, and for two years, we, we laid out a three-year goal to get to where we are, and uh, through hard work from everybody, from elected officials, department <coughs> heads, to employees, to everybody and, and making some wise decisions and doing the right things we sit here tonight with, with the ability to pass a budget with a 25 cent property tax reduction that's uh that's huge huge it's not all of it that we had to do but it's, it's, it's getting something back and that's what we wanted to do because we sit today today's a little over five million dollars in the bank and that's a long way from where we've done because Two years ago, there was many days that we wondered if we were going to have enough money to pay the bills. It was not a fun time. And I think one time we estimated the fund balance at $18,000 with $18,000. But we worked hard and, and everybody did and contributed and, and, and made those sacrifices and we're better for it today. And I, I, I believe we're in better shape financially than as good as we've ever been, if not better. And, and goes to everybody working together to get that done and it, it's just I'm, I'm proud of this budget 
for what we've got done in two years. The work's not done, but we've, we've, we've worked hard. And uh, before we get into it, I'll, I'll just uh, share a summary list of the items included in this budget before we get into it. Some of the some of the things, some of the items that included for the proposal. Under the IT, uh, IT works, we, uh, there's, there's increases in software for data processing. Uh, we are going to do an IT support contract with a current vendor and that adds them that, that, that allows them to do off-site monitoring, security maintenance and repair, and they will be able to do equipment grade, upgrade suggestions and the installation of that. Uh, one of the things that will go along with IT, and we just got over, I thought you today probably had an IT exit interview with the state. And cybersecurity is a growing concern with the Comptroller's Office. They're, they're, they have not sent down an edict saying you have to do it, but they're really saying this needs to be done. So we've started those conversations with the Palo Meadows about what kind of insurance we want, we can do. And this is, and what that, hey, she said today that there was a county that got hacked and didn't have insurance. Or did, did they have insurance? They had, they didn't have insurance. Or did, no, they had insurance. Because if they hadn't had insurance, it was going to cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars to replace everything they had. So. Uh, we've started those conversations, and I'll, 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 as soon as we get this contract signed, uh, Eisenhower will help us with that as well, getting that information to the insurance company where you can get a quote to what that's going to, going to cost us in the future. So that's something important. The election office, there's increased for, for the running of elections with a lot of stuff that's going on, and also adds a new position to them. Uh, new budget, fi budget finance, there's new purchasing software. There and a new process for purchase orders, which Daisy's excited to get rolled out. That's going to make things so much easier for everybody. It'll be painful on the front end, but once we get to what you figure out, it's going to be that much better for everybody, I, I believe, because it's the way a lot of other counties are doing it. Uh, it's also adding a position to that department that will help with HR, accounts payable, and uh, the more grants we get, the more work it puts on them, because I'm signing grant contracts, it seems like three a day. So, that's good. We're getting grants and we get a lot of bang for our buck, but it puts a lot of work on all that reporting and, and taken care of. And a lot of and one thing about it, a lot of these these new numbers in budget finance are offset because solid waste increased their contribution to that office. So that, that allowed that much more money there. So it's really budget neutral because of the 207 put more money into that office. So we thank them for that. Uh, Sheriff Jails, there'll be seven new patrol calls. Seven new patrol calls, patrol vehicles bought by the capital projects. But uh, that's bought out of the, the uh, capital projects fund, paid for in cash, no debt. Uh, there was an increase in the nursing hour cost, so that's in the budget. And then the, the sheriff's department asked for more nursing hours, and budget finance agreed to fund half of that and the sheriff's department is going to fund the other half of that. So now we will have seven days a week, 12 hour day nursing coverage, which protects our employees that are not having to hand out medicine anymore because that was a, that's a, that's a, it's an issue that, that we needed to take care of. Uh, EMS will get two new ambulance remounts out of the capital projects. Again, paid for it, no, uh, no debt. Uh, there is a $5,000 increase to the Chamber of Commerce contribution. There are some increases through uh, ag extension that uh, UT pushed down to us. On the insurance side, of course, we have an increase for our liability insurance. And then there is a 4.4% increase in health insurance that are covered by the county. The county's going to cover that 4%, and there's no increase to the employees taking the insurance. And as you said before, the policy committee, and we approved the recommendations to allow elected officials to participate in the insurance plan. Also, another thing that I'm really proud of is you, for you guys is all county employees under the 101 and 207 budgets will get an increase to 87% of market value as determined by salary study performed by Mr. Steve Thompson Associates. Now, they came back with a market rate. Uh, they just, the budget finance rate meant to go to, eight, go to 87%. Anybody that wasn't at 87% get brought to 87%. And then on the back side of that, a 2% raise across the board for everybody. Highway departments had raises in their budgets. All elected or appointed officials received state retro raises. They were not recently proposed to get a raise in this state budget, but they went back and, and, and retroed it in. So there's raises for those 
inside that budget as well. That, like I said, most elected, all the elected officials, their raises are set by the state. So their salaries, you, you, we pay the minimums on all those. Uh, one other thing on this that I'm really proud of too, with the American Recovery Act funds, they're coming down to us, it's going to be somewhere short of $4 million in two payments this year and next year. So there's, there's so many restrictions on that money and what you can and can't do. So it makes it virtually impossible to spend it on what you want. You know, I would love to sit right here and turn it around and hand it to Rose because we, that's our next major issue is Rose. But in the federal government's infinite wisdom, they did not allow it. So one of the things they will allow inside that is premium pay to essential employees during the pandemic. So what I what was originally proposed was a thousand dollar bonus to the to the employees out of the 101 but i propose we do a $2,500 one-time pay for essential workers and then someone asked the question at a meeting and i said well how do you determine who an essential worker is and, and deputy mump or comptroller mump power said well that's up to the mayor to decide that i said well guess what everybody we didn't shut down we worked from the, from the sheriff's deputies all the way to the meeting sites everybody showed up and worked during that time and so I believe everybody should get a $2,500 one-time bonus out of this month. Out of this month. Like I said, it's, it's money that we'll never, <laughs> I never dreamed we would get, but I think we should use it that way. So that's what I've got on that. Uh, so we'll move on to item number 11 is the resolution 06, no, 06, item 10, sorry, 06-2021-10. And that is setting the tax levy in Smith County for the 21-22 budget. And that will be a total of $2.48 with a dollar and a quarter going to the general fund, 0.075 going to the highway, 0.895 going to general purpose school. Uh, general debt service is 16 cents this year, so it is a reduction of, it, we reduced that by 10 cents by paying off debt. And also, we moved some of that five cents over into the regular money to pay for some of these increases. And then we took it, that, then they proposed to take a nickel and add it to capital projects where we're funding project, capital projects at a dime every year. We, right now, with penny values, will be somewhere around $400,000 a year. So every year, we'll have $400,000 to address those capital needs that we need to do. Now, we don't, that don't mean we need to spend it all every year because as we know, as the years go on, things, long-term projects become, you know, uh, here they'll tell you that you know we're basically going to have to have a new fire truck. So that's money that we can set aside and hold for future rainy days that we may need on the equipment. So but that is uh, that is the tax levy proposed. I would take a motion to approve that tax levy. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to approve. Glenn Reese, second. The All right. I have a motion and a second to approve the tax levy. Any questions or discussions? If not, roll call. Ms. Stacy. Chris Nixon? Yes. Glenn Reese? Yes. Terry Gibbons? Yes. Billy Bass? Yes. Greta Kirby? Yes. Jason Stewart? Yes. Jimmy Winfrey? Yes. Stephanie McCaleb? Yes. Shannon Michi? Yes. Erica Abel? Yes. Ron Shoemake? Yes. Ron Cowan? Yes. Linda Nixon? Yes. Eddie Stout? Yes. Casey Elrod? Yes. Steve Babcock? Yes. Bill Reese? Yes. Tommy Bain? Yes. Joey Nixon? Yes. Tim Ballard? Yes. <coughs> Teresa Gross? Yes. Frank Woodard? Yes. <coughs> Frank Woodard? Yes. Thank you, Nathan Nance. Thank you, Lord, and thank you. <laughs> All right, item number 11 is resolution 06 2021 11, and it's the fiscal year budget funds for the 101, the 122, the 127, 131, 141, 142, 143, 151, 156, 171, 191, and the 207. It is the proposed budget for fiscal year ending June 30th, 2021. Public notice dated. June 17th is the trustee's balance sheet, debt service payments for funds which is going to be 207, 
and your estimated fund balances are also attached in there. At this time, I would take a motion to pass this budget. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. 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 If not, roll call. Okay. Chris Nixon? Yes. Glenn Reese? Yes. Terry Gibbons? Yes. Billy Bass? Yes. Greta Kirby? Yes. Jason Stewart? Yes. Jimmy Winfrey? Yes. Stephanie Michaela? Yes. Shannon Michi? Yes. Erica Eagle? Yes. Ron Schumann? Yes. Ron Cowan? Yes. Linda Nixon? Yes. Betty Stout? Yes. Tracy Elrod? Yes. Steve Babcock? Yes. Bill Reese? Yes. Tommy Bain? Yes. Joey Nixon? Yes. Tim Beller? Yes. Teresa Gross? Yes. Frank Woodard? Yes.
90% with a plan of hopefully by 2033 having all our employees paid at 100% of the market as rate. That, uh, that is a great plan. And I, I believe planning is, is one of the best things you can do because it, it gives you something to work for and go and tie it to fund balance. That you know, we, It started out we can tie it to revenues. Well, revenues is hard to determine because you have good revenues on one and bad on the other. But with it, with it being a fund balance decrease, then everybody plays a part because if you manage your expenses down and revenues grow, then you still get that 4% growth. So this this just makes it that much better, you know, and everybody has a piece in that pie. So at this time, I would take a motion to approve this. Motion point. to approve. Motion to approve. Second. Back. Second. Tommy Bain. Any questions, discussion on this resolution? If not, roll call, Stacey. Bruce Nixon? Yeah. Lynn Reese? Yes. Terry Gibbons? Yes. Billy Bass? Yes. Greta Kirby? Yes. Jason Stewart? Yes. Jimmy Winfrey? Yes. Stephanie McKayla? Yes. Shannon Meachie? Yes. On the pipeline, can county employees vote for that? If you're a narrow reading of the statute, it'd probably uh, be on the safer side to say no. Right. Um, obviously, the outcome may not matter, but uh, to be conservative on it, I would say no. All right, so back up. And <clears throat> Mr. Mayor, I was told during the budget finance that we'd be eligible to vote for this. For the pay plan? That's what we was discussing because it was across the board. But I, was told I, I don't care if it's staying in the way. Daisy, am I wrong? Uh, what I was the budget. referring to was the total budget. Right? I think the, di the difference is the, the budget is across the board. This resolution specifically says, uh, specifically gives a percentage pay increase directly to a to an employee. Uh, and, and for that matter, the statute, um, the statute reads that member, being a commissioner, or that member's spouse. So any anyone who has a spouse would also apply here. That's a county employee. Uh, but no. Mr. Nixon is a school board employee, so that doesn't affect him because he's not under this plan. Correct. <coughs> right. Well, he just to make sure. Yeah. Right. So you're saying that they need to abstain for conflict of interest? If you ask my opinion, yeah. Okay. No. Taro? Taro. I need to abstain. Terry Gibbons? Abstain. Jilly Bass? Yes. Greta Kirby? Yes. Jason Stewart? Abstain due to conflict of interest. Jimmy Winfrey? Yes. Stephanie McKayla? Yes. Shannon Minchie? Abstain. Erica Eagle? Yes. Ron Chumay? Yes. Ron Cowan? Yes. Linda Nixon? Yes. Eddie Stout? Yes. Casey Elrod? Yes. Steve Babcock? Abstain due to conflict. Bill Reese? Yes. Tommy Bain? Yes. Joey Nixon? Yes. Tim Beller? Yes. Teresa Gross? Yes. Frank Woodard? Yeah. Yeah, you'll need to come and fill out that formal for her. Thank y'all. Right. Item number 15 is the amendment to the privacy, private act <coughs> authorizing Smith County to a levy and auction tax. This is the one we voted on back earlier. was sent to the state. They approved it as part of the private act and they sent it back to us. Motion approved.
help me down the elevator. Someone might hear it. They might hear that. I have a motion and a second. Any other questions, questions and discussion? And this will need a two thirds majority, correct? Yes. yes. All right. Your roll call. Chris Nixon? Yes. Yeah. Lynn Reese? Yes. Carrie Gibbons? Yes. Billy Bass? Yes. Freddie Kirby? Yes. Jason Stewart? Yes. Jimmy Winfrey? Yes. Stephanie McKayla? Yes. Shannon Meachie? Yes. Erica Eagle? Yes. Ron Chumay? Yes. Ron Cowan? Yes. Linda Nixon? Yes. Eddie Stell? Yes. Casey Elrod? Yes. Steve Babcock? Yes. Jill Reese? Yes. Tommy Bain? Yes. Joey Nixon? Yes. Tim Beller? Uh, yes. Teresa Gross? Yes. Frank Woodard? Yes. Yeah. Okay, item number 16 is the recognition of the Rock City Road Fire Department as a fire department. So, Ricky's here, and Jeremy's here, we, Dave's here, we, we've all, so ISO ratings, the county has an ISO, what is our current ISO for the county meeting? The ISO rating for the county is nine, with the exception of Rock City, which is ISO rating of six. They are a six, which means those folks down there and Mr. Ed and his crew, Shannon's on that as well, have worked and they've done the things that got their ISO rating down. Well, when ISO came back to register us, they said, well, they can't do it that way. Everybody's got to be the same. So we spent, what, three months trying to figure out how to make this work. And we finally got it to where if we pull Rock City Rome off and make them their own fire department with our school, but we, we're going to write a contract where we provide the same support. They're, it's just a paper thing where we're showing that they're separate. They will, and those people down there don't lose that ISO writing ratings. Uh, Mr. Mr. Gibbs, the new chief, it's his goal is to help the rest of the county get theirs lower, and he's working on that as well, so that can be everybody. <coughs> but we just need to pass this resolution tonight to, to, to set up their own fire department where it protects their that area, and we go from there. Did I explain that right? Uh, the issue that come up was at one time all the fire departments had their separate ID number and that's when they obtained their lower ISO rating. Somewhere in the interim, for some reason, it was decided to group them all back together again and put them under one fire department ID. And when um, I contacted ISO to have a discussion to see you know, what's the possibility that other departments could lower their rating. Uh, he informed me at that time, this was about 13 months ago, I guess, the first time I talked to him, was now that they had been combined, that he could not certify one department as a six and another one as a nine. Everybody had to be certified as uh, one rating, which in this case would push everybody to a nine. And including Rock City. Uh, they worked really hard over the years. This is something they, they did several years ago. Uh, put a lot of effort into that and our goal was to make sure that they were protected uh, for their ISO rating before we could move forward with looking at the other ones. So this is what this is doing. It's not to give them any kind of unfair advantage over any other department or anything like that. It's strictly to uh, protect their ISO 6 rating, and then at that point, uh, we decided to do this with other ones. We done know how we already know how to do it, but once we talk, uh, once I talk to ISO again, they're supposed to come in at some point, do some fire hydrant testing and things like that, and see what the possibility are in some of these other areas that we could possibly lower the rating at some point. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second, Steve Babcock. I have a motion and a second to approve. Uh, any other questions or discussion? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. All right. Item number 17, resolution 206 2021 17. Is the addition of violating the Road. Alright, so 
he came to us, something, there was a question about Monty Lane being a county road. Well, we went down and around with attorneys, and Jeremy spent time researching deeds. We, we asked everybody, what we've determined is, Jeremy, 1968? Somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. Bon Hill Road was deeded to the county. We own that road from the railroad tracks to the highway. We own it. Uh, we talked to Miss Melinda. Over the years, we have done work on Bon Hill Road. It's just never been on the Bon Hill. Oh, it, I, we think it was just an oversight at some point in time and nobody's ever figured out or called it in because it, it's always been treated as a county road, correct? Yes, sir. So, what we're doing tonight is just making that official. So, I said it was an oversight, we believe, and so we're adding to the program. Mr. Chairman, I make the motion that we add it as a class one road. Okay. If it's not a class one, it won't be eligible for state aid. Okay. And if we have a class one, that's it. All right. Second motion. All right. Sure. Uh, motion. Can you give me in a second? Is that your time? Did you have a question, Mr. Eddie, or did you just want to make a motion? I was just going to okay. say that. Okay. All right. I have a motion, Mr. Jimmy, and second to Tommy. Any other questions or discussions on this? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. We can make that, that issue. All right. Moving on to notaries. If you have a list of notaries before you, I will take a motion to approve those. Motion to approve. Second. Second. That's <coughs> I have a motion and a second to approve that list. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. All right. Any other business? Any other business? If not, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. I have a motion and a second. You are adjourned.